Let's create that part we left in the beginning. Over here. Uh, okay. So I just selected this edge and ring it round. And just connect it with one. Pull the vertex down. Move to the side. Just keep adjusting them. Don't forget to also adjust the bottom. Which is over here. Okay, that's really hard to see. It's over here. This is what I get. If you want to see what I did, so um, this is how my left and front view look. Okay, and line moving here, it's that line over here, and from the bottom, this is how it looks. There's the point right there. Okay. Mm. What we want to do now. for that line, but manually this time. So we're going to hold it down, and just about this much. Okay. If you want to see how much I chamfered it by, it's 1.658. Okay. So let's drag these. them inwards like so now this is what we should have and I'm just gonna grab this and loop it around oops and I'm just gonna transfer it to 0 0.01 for this one. See what it looks like. Uh, undo. Sorry, let me just adjust my voice here. Okay. I'm gonna chamfer it just as far as here probably. Nope, that doesn't look good. Oops. You just have to keep using trial and error till you get um, the chamfer you like. Okay, I'm just testing things out. I don't really know what it will look like. Mm. Nope, I don't like it like that. Again, it's just I'm just testing things out on my own. You don't have to do any of this. Yeah, I like that. Okay. 
So this is what I did. Basically, this is what you should have over here. And I just selected this edge in the middle, bring it around and connect it. And this is what I get. I'm pretty happy with that. It gives it a nice look from here. Okay. You can even, I don't like that, straighten this out if you wish. And there you go. Okay. Um, what I'd like to do now is just stretch this out a bit. This is my own uh, estimation. Just stretch it out a bit. There we go. Which means. Uh, this has to move as well. Alright, great. Okay, uh, I want to create a seam right now for the bonnet. So, I'm going to select border over here. Actually, before that, let's just move all these vertices just a tiny step backwards. Let's just leave some room in here. Okay, edge. Now, deselect these guys over here, like so. Uh, also, deselect these guys. Chamfer to 0.01. Select the same edges you selected before, so loop. There we go. And just shift and pull them downwards, like so. And this is what you get. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, loop this here and chamfer it to 0.01 okay and you get that okay now I'm not going to um, extrude anything here because I still haven't finished my wheel arc, so I'm just gonna leave that for now. Okay, uh, I think that's pretty much it for the front. Uh, can't see anything else left to do. So we've created a circle over here. You can still make a few adjustments to it. Uh, let's just pull this down. That. You can do pretty much anything you like to it. I'm probably going to adjust mine later to fix this weird looking circle over here. Um, that's looking good so far. Uh, we've learned how to chamfer things around. Extrude. We've learned how to create weird looking shapes from here. Uh, so they're pretty smooth and pretty nice. Uh, learned how to create holes in our model. Uh, to place the vents, the chamfer corners, make them look smooth. To chamfer random parts, we learned how to uh, organize our steps, when to start chamfering, when to start extruding, etc. Okay, uh, just look at it from the side, make sure it has a nice looking curve. And in the front, in the back. Alright, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so in the next part, um, we'll probably be creating uh, one of two things, either this part over here or the doors. Um, I prefer we start the doors first because uh, we want to get them over with because once we create the doors we can easily create this part and follow it. 
and then we can move on to the back and the roof. So overall we have, what, four parts maybe? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's good. Alright.